Hey guys, welcome back to Davidson Fishing. I uh, got another unboxing for you. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right down there. Uh, recently I've noticed I get a lot of views, but I'm not getting the subscribers. So if you're viewing this, please just hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're feeling generous, press that like button as well. Uh, so we got a RTB unboxing here. And uh, this is from January, so it came late. So let's get into this right here. Right. So we've got a few things. Uh, our RTB, sorry, they usually have, uh, usually get six things. So we'll start off with this. Uh, I didn't get a card in this one, so I did look at all these and I'm going to try something new. And um, I looked up online about the about each uh, tackle, what they had to say and what their prices were. So I went on uh, fishlabtackle.com, uh, I believe it is, or Tackle Core, and uh, so I found this for ten thirty nine on their website. It's a basic toad, and the color is black frog. It's two and three quarters with uh, three quarter ounce. Here it is right here. Right there. Uh, it's very soft. The only thing I would like to see is see these uh, hooks stick out a bit more. Uh, they're pretty sharp. So on the website it says uh, the rattle toe lineup consists of three sizes, two and a quarter, two and three three quarters, and a giant three and a half toed. Uh, the key feature of the rattle toad is this uh, oversized rattle chamber that's mounted in the head. So, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but there is a bit of a, a little rattle in there. And uh, so, basically, keeps the bait lying flat on the water, making it easier for fish to track the bait over thick mats of grass or through heavy scum lines, and available in both like like. And classic frog colors. The rattle toad has an easy walking action with light use of the rod. The double frog hook on the toad sits high up on the side of the body so that it takes less body compression to expose the hook points and to get an easier hook set. The high detailed and textured back of the toad moves the real texture of a frog and the floating PVC legs keep the frog up on the surface. So I kind of disagree that uh, that the hooks sit up high here because I don't think they do. It's not that easy to compress. Uh, but yeah. Overall, it's a toad. So next up we have from Freedom Tackle Core. This would be called the. Uh, sorry, it's a football jig and the color is Threadfin. which to me is just a pearl and online it's uh, listed at 549 um, the freedom swing head technology partnered with the proven bottom dwelling football shaped jig head is a must for anyone fishing rocky points or deep ponds where the big ones live so here it is here so the head actually rotates sure if you can see that now, I'm not sure if this uh, some kind of weed guard it's supposed to be here yeah. maybe it does have a bait holder which is a plus so I'm not sure if that's considered a weed guard I just stuck it up there it was actually sitting right there but yeah that would be a weed guard to me trim it down a bit there Decent football jig head, and they have that online for five forty nine. Next up, we have uh, we have some gobies from uh, fanaticbaits.com. 
I've got plenty of these in I think RTB boxes and as well as uh, the MTBs and uh, this is just a five pack of three and a half inch color is 005 which um, I think is just a green pumpkin or something like that there it is right there it's got some green flake in there it's a normal goby uh, so I did look up on their website at fanaticbeats.com and uh, in their description it says uh, goby itself is an invasive species that is technically not that great for our waters as it eats the eggs and reproduce much more often than other fish however it also became a favorite source of food for a lot of predatory fish like bass walleye and pike Gobies don't have any defensive features except their camouflage. So when it goes up from the rocks, it most white light, it most likely immediately gets eaten, and that is exactly why it's a phenomenal drop shot and jigging lure. As all you need to do to catch fish is, fish is just jiggle a little, and the bite will come soon. We promise. So I didn't notice on uh, these have a bit of salt in them. Not a fan of having salt in, in uh, soft baits because uh, it kind of deteriorates the quality of it. Yeah, it's the first time I actually noticed they had salt in the gobies here. It was uh, online, it's listed at $8 for a five pack. A little pricey for me, but uh, I think that's in Canadian, so. Yeah, next up, what do we have here? The Missouri Pins Minnow Sinking Silver Minnow. So to me, when I received this, I actually thought it was a nice fishing lure. And doing a little bit of research, you, you could use it for uh, ice fishing. So I'm going to pull it out here. So the colors are holographic silver minnow, and they're listed at $7.99, so you can see how small it is. You can definitely use this to, to jig it, whatnot, for ice fishing. You know. So it's a Pins Minnow S, it's two, sorry, a sixteenth of an ounce, two inches long. So I went on, uh, looked them up on Google. They didn't have a, a website itself, or at least I couldn't find one. Uh, but I did find one through uh, another uh, taco store. So their description is, they incorporate a durable ABS resin lip to get down over the structure and in the strike zone. Use this lure when fish are up and feeding in the shallows in the spring and fall morning or evenings. Made with Yuzuri's weight transfer system, these extremely versatile baits cast very well for their size. They are perfectly suited for stream and lake fishing. The Pins Middle series can be cast or trolled, producing a tight wiggling action that attracts a, ride, a wide variety of game fish to strike. So here's that little rattle. And like I said, uh, I found these for $7.99. Next up, we have. Uh, Z Baits Vital Series Angry Beaver in Green Pumpkin. So, seen this listed at 634 on their website themselves. So, if you don't know Z Baits, they have I believe it's three three different types. So they have a white label, which uh, consists of a new custom blend of plastics, less toxic. Uh, so basically it's like a new custom formula that they came up with and apparently they say each bait lasts up to 8 to 12 fish uh, So that's uh, Amazing quality. I've never tried the white label stuff But if you have comment down below tell me what you think of it and I'll probably grab one one day um, So for the vital series, which is their most known series um, their description on it is uh, not every angler needs the top of the line plastics chemistry to catch fish that's where the vital series product line comes in they're the shapes we all grew up fishing we all know catch fish the vital series baits are 
The vital shapes we all know work time and time again for many anglers. These are their go-to baits and we are all for that. So the vital series is basically like, you know, their mediocre brand and all the shapes and sizes we, we know to love, right? And then they have a third one, which is called the micro series, which is uh, anything under three inches. They usually come in 10 count packs. And I believe they only have two of them, which is the Micro X Swimmer and the Boot Tail Swim Bait. Um, so yeah, so this is the Angry Beaver Green Pumpkin. I'm going to pull this out, just take a look at it with you guys. So it has the slits down the middle, so you can center your hook in there. And there you go. It's your basic Angry Beaver. I think everybody here is... Uh, either used one or seen one in their life green pumpkin very usual color put on a jig head or put it as a trailer yeah so that's listed at 634 and it comes in an eight count pack and last but not least of course rtb always gives you the Smart Baits color changing, uh, color changing soft plastics. So I did go to their website and this one did not have any labels. So I kind of had to find out what it was. Uh, so this is actually the Bayou Bug. Right there, it's the Bayou Bug. So I believe these come apart. Uh, they at least should. There you go. Uh, I kind of ruined that one. Anyways. So these come apart here. This is supposed to come apart. I just ruined it. It's alright. And the color is uh, so it goes from in the cold goes from watermelon to when it gets warmer to a pumpkin seed they're 370 so this pack here when I did look it up you can only buy a pack of 16 in this pack I only received four so it, I did the math and it turns out this pack is worth about three dollars and 74 cents so I'm interested to see what the cards say on RTB when I received this again in a four pack because I didn't receive the card this time I want to see if they're saying it's over four bucks so what I did was I looked up the temperature range for these for when the color would change so the temperature is between 65 and 80 and it will change to a lighter color in warm water and a darker color in cooler water so I think it says 65 Fahrenheit to 80 Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius to 25 well, that's pretty warm I live up in the north so usually doesn't get that warm so I don't think I'll ever be seeing uh, seeing that pumpkin seed color which I think this that's what this is right now because I don't think this is a uh, watermelon Watermelon's kind of reddish, right? Um, so yeah, on their website it says uh, if you're an eager angler that enjoys pounding the pads, flipping the the stumps, or pitching boat docks, then the Smart Baits Bayou Bug is made for you with our cool color color. Sorry, with our color changing technology, you now have a lure that will change colors as it slowly sinks to the bottom, thereby triggering fish to aggressively attack your lure before it gets away. The Bayou Bug is available in two color changing styles. Our style changes colors from watermelon to pumpkin, speed and pumpkin seed and the other style will change color from smoke to black on one half of the bait and from pearl to blue on the other half of the bait. So that's everything there. Like I said, it's, it's about three seven nine for this pack. I did the math. They're going to charge $14.99 for 16 divide that and comes out to about 375 or 4 pack uh, so I 
calculated everything in the box, how much everything cost. It was $41.95. The cost of the box was $29.99. So the deal you're getting out of buying these boxes for the month of January is $11.99. We also got a few stickers in here that I forgot to show you guys. So we got bass, gas, or grass. Nobody fishes for free. We got a Dewa sticker. And classic, or sorry, chasing scale. There you go. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Show your friends, help support the channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Sorry guys, I'm just going to play the video of who the winner is for the contest. Congratulations to whoever wins. Make sure you contact me via email. I'll have that down in the description below. And so let's spin that wheel.